Would you like to make a DIY resistance soldering station for less than 25% of most commercially available units? Well, this video shows you step by step how to do it quickly, easily, and inexpensively. To make such an inexpensive resistance soldering station that can be used to make a resistance soldering iron that can be used to solder photo edge parts, edge brass kits, and other thin metals without damaging them, you should have the right parts. The parts used in this video are from the fine scale resistance soldering station kit. With it, you can make a safe resistance soldering station, especially designed for hobby modelers. Links to that kit, a review of the kit, and a review of the soldering station are below the video. And if you click on the icon in the top right of this video, they're there also. This is the soldering station that we will build. I made it using the kit. I'll take you through a quick visual presentation of the basic steps used to make the soldering station for a detailed step-by-step -step guide that fills in all the gaps in this presentation download the free book link below that being said let's look at how it's done what i'm going to do to save you time is merely show you a sequence of pictures that show what is done. The first thing you're going to do is make a base into which you will put the transformer. It's a matter of making a small box, adding a, a receptacle to connect to your household power and making some wires. You'll drill a hole in the bottom for ventilation. That transformer can get, get hot. And then you'll go ahead and you'll make a cover. The cover also has to be ventilated. It simply drill a hole in the back. Now, you make your own cover. This doesn't come with a kit or anything. You can make it out of wood. You can make it out of plastic, whatever you want. We put the probe uh, plugs, uh, I should say receptacles, on a special board. The way I designed this is to have the plugs or receptacles f flat with and, and horizontal to the tabletop. That way, when I remove uh, a, a probe, I have no problems with pulling everything around. Wiring is very simple. There's a wiring diagram that comes along with it. P hook up a couple wires, simply screw them in place. All right, let's test this thing. How am I set up? I have a steel plate probe. I'm hooked into the three volt side of my uh, resistance soldering unit. I have a fan over here. I always work with a fan. I'm using Koki solder, it's a soldering paste. And I have some scrap brass here. I hold the scrap brass down with magnets. What I'm going to do is put a touch of soldering paste on this scrap brass. I can get it to come out. I haven't used it in a while. There we go. Got a little touch of soldering paste on there. Put that brass on there, hold it with a magnet, hold it with a magnet. Now we'll zoom in. Channels. Come over. Put my probe in place. Turn the fan on. Put the probe in place. 
step on the foot switch. Give it a little time to heat. And that joint should be made. There it is. The joint's made. That's simple. Nice joint, very little paste. You don't see any excesses anywhere. Now what I'll do is I'll just go over here. I won't make any changes. I'll be able to tell. Uh, I'm going to switch to the uh, 6 volt now. Uh, I should be able to tell uh, if I'm getting... Uh, if it's working by the heat that I see at six bolts on this thin brass. Put the probe in place, put on the switch, you see the red? That's high, that's high voltage, high temperature. So we know that the resistance soldering iron works. And now we can go ahead and button it up. In the end screen, there is a link to our complete library on resistance soldering. I hope it helps you on your search. If there is anything else you would like to know, ask in the comments box. I hope your visit has been rewarding, and I look forward to you visiting us again. My best wishes for success in your soldering and modeling ventures.